Hey, I'll be right with you. Hold on. Put a little more powder on my nose there. So, what are you doing, my office? All right, darling. Thank you. Hey, there's a sign on the door that says this is my dressing room. I'm trying to get ready for my show. And I'd like a little privacy, so scram. Sal, si, you're not getting ready in my office. This is what my mean? office. Look, I'll compromise with you. I'll share my dressing room. Sal, si, get out. Say what? Get out. Go to the duck call room. Hey, you're killing my pre-show vibe here. It stinks in here. Well, here, get you some. <sighs> get you a good case of it. Hey, don't tear my stall. Hey, I'm gonna talk to the producer. I need to get me a new sidekick. Where's my chair? I got me a show on the internet. I don't even know what that is yet. People talk about going viral, but we're way bigger than that, Jack. We're going viral. We're going viral. We're going viral. On the big bad internet. Piece of junk. What's poppin', America? And it ain't popcorn. What's up, guys? Welcome to Going Cyro. The show where Uncle Cy si gives his opinions on all the crazy stuff that you guys are putting on the internet. Cy, si, how you think it's going? I think it's going pitiful. Hey, I think this internet down the tube less than three months. The Stupid. internet? Yeah. I figure it's just like a fad. I don't know, Cy. Si. I think the internet's here to stay. Hey, that's just like what that stupid salesman told me about my laser disc player. Okay, and the only thing I use that thing for now is stupid paperwork. He ripped me off. <laughs> okay, let's watch some clips from the internet about music. Oh, I'm great at music. Okay, I'm what you call a multi astro mentalist. <laughs> let's see what we got. We got a donkey. That is amazing. Yeah, that donkey's talented, boys. <laughs> I actually think the donkey sounds better than the fiddle player. No, no, hey, the fiddle piper is off key. The donkey is on key. It's an on key donkey. On key donkey. Okey <laughs> donkey, donkey. Uh, next clip. That sounds like you singing. I like it. Hey, that dog is trained in classical music. Hey, I like the way he switched. Dude, that's pretty amazing. You know why? That first one was out of key, and he caught it. I'm serious, it was out, it was out of tune. And he said, oh, I'll go get me a good one here, buddy. <laughs> hey, Beethoven didn't have nothing on that dog. <laughs> Wait a minute, I missed something here. Run it back, let's watch right. it again. I know just how this guy feels. I hate it when you sneak up on me. <laughs> you idiot! Stop doing that, Willie. No. <laughs> These next clips are all about fishing. Sal, si, what's the biggest thing you've ever had on the end of your line? Hey, look, quit talking and press play on the internet. <laughs> okay, let's watch. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he gone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want one in the chair. Sorry, you don't even have a boat. I'm not gonna put it on a boat. I'm gonna put that in my living room. Why do you need a chair like that in your living room? Look, I'd probably put a TV behind me and one in front of me and keep them on two different channels, okay? And then watch a little bit of this one. <laughs> Turn around, watch a little bit of that one. Turn around and watch a little bit of this one. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. Here he comes. Put a clip in that. Oh, no. Damn. Oh! oh. <laughs> Did you see oh, that? Is that how you ever caught a shark? Nope, but I rode one once. You ride a shark. Yeah, I did. Hey. I rode a dolphin one time. They got like a dolphin ride. If you're a pansy. <laughs> Nobody rides flipper. Hey, ride something with a little danger involved in it. Hey, because I'm going to tell you, like I said, you'll fall off a dolphin. Hey, you won't fall off a shark. Why not? Because, hey, he'll turn around and come back and eat you. You'll ride that joker. Trust me. How'd you ever get off of him? I, I rode him till he died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch another one. Oh, 
catfish and jug fishing. Yeah, I'll okay. jug fishing here. I right, love jug fishing. Right. Oh, he's got a oh, he's got a good catfish. I mean, he's got a good one. Jerry one. Oh, whoa! whoa. whoa. Right. <laughs> that, that ain't a catfish. It's a catfish <laughs> with a bunch of teeth. Yeah. Yeah, that was not a catfish. I don't know why the guy's running away. I would have wrestled him. You don't wrestle gators in the water. Why not? Because that's their domain. That's where well, they're. Well, hey, I'll make it my domain. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have caught some really big and some really scary things while out in the boat fishing. All right, let's see what we got here. I know we got something on that. Yeah! I'm telling you, it still freaks me out just thinking about that. Uh, hey, I'm telling you. We got to take a break. We'll be right back after this. Coming right back at you, boys. Welcome back, everyone. This is a segment we like to call Cyberspace. It's where Cy makes his version of popular online videos. What you got for us, Cy? Look, I made a car review video. The thing about car review videos is, OK, nobody talks about old cars. So I made one of my own. All right. This should be interesting. Let's watch. Oh, it is. <laughs> hey, folks, I'm Cy Robertson. And look, this here is my car review. This right here is an old truck. It's a grand touring edition. It's awesome. Hey, check him tires out, boys. And hey, listen, listen to this. You hear that? Hey, that ain't tin foil. That's real steel. American steel. The grand touring edition gets very reasonable gas mileage. I can get from my home to work on a whole tank. I know what you're thinking. You look down here and you've seen this hole, and you said, that shouldn't be there. But wait, bam, it's actually got two holes. Here's another neat thing about the Grand Touring Edition. Gas cap lock. You fill up, next thing you know, you come out and crank it up, it won't run because it's empty. Some redneck has come up there with a rubber hose and a five-gallon cannon. Your gas is gone. Now, for the most important thing in the Grand Touring Package, bam! Teacup holder. Hey, another thing, look at this red shag carpeting. OK, this one here, it smells a little like dog tinker. This is only available in the Grand Touring Edition. You've got the money, splurge, you cheapskate. In conclusion, OK, this is an awesome truck. And look, I gave it 9 out of 10 haze. Hey, 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 hey. I would have gave it 10. OK, but look, it doesn't have an AM radio. This is the Grand Touring Edition, for crying out loud. The radio should have come with the standard package. That concludes my review, OK? Look, if you like, subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thanks for that gift to the internet, Sal. Hey, look, I'm filling the board here with some good classic cars. One way to put it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> These next clips all have something in common that literally ties them together. Yeah, they're all set in the past. No, they all have to do with ropes. Ropes? Ropes. Oh. Let's watch. This is a bad one already. I can see it already. Really? Yep. yep. Tight ropes oh. across. Ooh. Oh! I told you, I told you had a bad ending. The whole hey, thing with hey, it. Oh, there's somebody sitting under it. There's a person. Oh, there's I, I a didn't body know. sitting yeah, there. It's a body. Hey, is that him coming running out? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, him. Yeah, if you want to get to the other side of the pool, why didn't he just walk around? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about lazy? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. We got to watch that again. Whoa! Look, everybody knows if you do a rope swing, you got to have a tire, not a stick. What's the difference? Hey, the tire's got more traction. <laughs> <laughs> got you. Oh, boy. Yeah. Go inside. You're so easy. You ever done that? Yeah. You know me. I'm a radical dude. <laughs> I live life to the extreme. Ah! Ah! You got to be careful. Hey, don't be a square, will you? <laughs> Show me what you got on the stupid internet. All right, here we go. Here we go. What could go wrong here? 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> look, the winner, the winner slid the feathers. <laughs> oh, horses are down, boy. All right, let's see what happens. Right. They're all on the gate. <laughs> it didn't go down. I wonder if you could have just gotten on your bike and taken off. <laughs> I guess. It's a race. I don't know. All right, what we got here? Oh, oh there's a dog. Oh, OK. He said, no, I ain't doing it. Is that a life jacket on? No. Yeah, yeah, flopper's over. <laughs> it ain't going to come back to fight up. There you go, hey. Oh, that voice. Hey. Wait a minute, let's see the jump again. Hey, that was a bad leap. <laughs> I give him a 10, boys. He just planed out. That's all he had right there. <laughs> all right, is that all of them? Here, I got one more. Oh, this uh, is gonna uh, be a uh, good one. We got a cat. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. What happened there? He had good form. He was getting into it, and then he jumped that high. That cat is pitiful. <laughs> he ought to be ashamed. I, you know, I shouldn't even call him a cat. Yeah. That's how bad that was. OK, it's time for a break. We'll be right back. We ain't going nowhere. Don't listen to him. Good Cyril. Welcome back to Going Cyril, the show that's 100% FDA approved. That's right. 60-40. What's 60-40? You're just like my hamburger meat I buy. 60% meat, 40% fat. OK, sir. So. This is a segment of the show where we bring in a panel of family and friends. And today, we have my daughter, Sadie, my lovely wife, Corey, and an old friend, Mountain Man. Hey, good to be here. Glad you're here. All right, look, this whole segment's under protest. Why? Because you're rigging the panel on me. Uh -huh. Hey, he's your heating and cooling man, OK? He's over at your house more than I am. Y'all probably look at the internet together. Side. That has nothing to do with the internet. Hey, That's just you. our panel. Hey, this is a conspiracy, but go ahead. OK, y'all ready to play a little game? This one's called Side Detector. We're going to show a video. Everybody here has seen it except for you, Si. You've rigged it again. No, yeah. I haven't rigged anything. Oh, yeah. Got then we're going to pause it midway, and then they're all going to explain how it ends. But here's the catch. Only one of them's telling the truth. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, just a kid running on the sidewalk, right? Yep. What happened next? Sadie? OK, so he runs. You see the bus over there on the yep. other side? Yep. He runs, and as soon as the bus starts taking off, he latches on like a ninja and goes with the bus. OK. Or? He runs through a glass pane, but he just, like, throws it off and gets up and keeps running. Acts like nothing ever happened. Mountain man? Well, I'd say he's running from a pack of wild dogs trying to get on that bus, and right before he gets on the bus... I drag him down. One of them reaches up, <laughs> bites a hole in the seat of his pants. Si, which one is the truth? OK, this young lady here is telling me a lie. OK, Sadie's telling me a lie. OK, Mountain Man's telling me a lie. Miss Course told me the truth. That is a mirror, and he runs face forward into that mirror. I didn't really say a mirror. I said a glass you said pane, a glass. but OK, glass, yeah. But it's a mirror. Trust me on this. But keen detects his senses, boys. All right, let's see what never happens. never wrong. Huh? Damn. Ow. Ooh, Ow. Don't Ooh. leave a mark. Well, Sa she did. I did pick the you right one. Correct. Still could have been a pack of dogs chasing him. No, there. ain't no pack of dogs chasing him in, man. Sa, you have one correct. All right, all right. Let's watch the next one. OK, it seems pretty simple. There's a man standing on a hovercraft with a tablet on his face. The question you need to be thinking about is what happened next. Okay. Sadie? It's going to sound like I'm lying, uh, but it's the internet, so crazy things happen. OK. He throws the tablet up, does a backflip, and then lands back on the thing and catches it behind his back. OK. Uh, no, 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 no. The hovercraft goes backwards, and he falls down the escalator, escalator. drops the tablet, and lands on his butt. Pretty convincing. Okay. Mountain man. Oh, kid comes off the escalator with a hockey stick in his hand and knocks it off of his nose. OK, sir. That means that's a ball-faced lie. <laughs> OK. 
Then, Miss Cordy, hers is pretty believable, but I'm afraid it would hurt him. So, hey, Miss Sadie is telling me the truth. That's what's gonna happen. All right, let's see who's right. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like a hockey stick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, man, man, you lied to me. You should have told me it was a kid on top of a dad with a hockey stick. Uh, <laughs> just look hey, like disqualified. No, he said, no. he said it. No, no I disqualified. He's he not disqualified. He didn't tell me about the kid. No, you he were. Told he told the truth. No, that's not even possible. He didn't tell possible. me about the kid. So hey. I could have told you on it's my show, impossible to look, do a back. No, no, this is just like in a courtroom. On my show, you got to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, the whole truth. We got another one? That's it. You finished oh. one and one, one and one. Thank you guys so much for coming by and hanging out with us. I'm hungry. Got any food around here? No, no food. Mm. We'll be right back. That is one of my favorite segments of the show, Silas Says, where you get to ask questions and he gets to give you Really bizarre answers. Are you ready? Yeah. And my answers are not bizarre. They're enlightening. OK, question one. Hey, Uncle Si, what's your favorite thing to cook for dinner? That would be, you know, after a long day at work, I like to come home and, hey, cook me a TV dinner. That's oh. not really cooking, Si. What do you mean it ain't cooking? It's kind of just warming up. So. No, I don't heat it up. I like it cold. Okay, look, there's nothing better than a frozen salisbury steak. You eat it frozen? No, you lick on it. You know, it's kind of like a meat popsicle. That is nasty. No, it ain't. You ought to try it sometime. Next question. Okay, next question. Hey, Uncle Si, I have a roommate who is always leaving his dishes in the sink. I'm afraid to say something to him because he's a friend of mine. What should I do? Look, hey, you need to go ahead and confront the guy, all right? Hey. You know, it's time to stop being polite and get real. You both need it. Isn't that what they say at the beginning of real world? This is the real world. No, it's a TV show. Wait a minute. You think the real world's a TV show and you call me crazy? I'm gonna send you to the head doctor. You just said... Continuing right along. <laughs> okay. Hey, Uncle Si, summer is my favorite time of year. What's your favorite season? Hey, that's easy. Okay, my favorite season is duck hunting season. Okay, and then my second favorite is season three of Murder She Wrote. <laughs> what? I don't think that's what they were asking. Okay, next question. Hey, Uncle Si, what was your favorite snack when you were a kid? That's an easy. Hey, Woody, do you remember them little uh, pieces of paper with little dots of colored candy on it? Yeah, those little dots. Yeah. That no. was your favorite snack? No. No, not the dots. The paper is what I got, OK? I could chew on that stuff forever. That was delicious. <laughs> that explains a lot. Go <laughs> inside. Right. Ah! Our next video makes me happy that I have a dentist. <laughs> I'm Dr. Ruth, and I'm going to be pulling out Rowan's tooth today on my Motorcycle. Ah, uh, poor little brothers. Your breast game. <laughs> okay, I got it. Go in. Hold the chair, kid. Here we go. Whoa! Hang on. Uh, there it is. I heard this a little. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, you're not gonna believe this, but. I did that same exact thing one time. This? Tied the string. My brothers pulled it out. Who, Jace? Yep. They took off running. Look, true story. Hey, I once had my appendix yanked out by a city bus. It only hurt for a second, then it was done. <laughs> All right, let's look at another one. Good little dancer, son. Yeah. Slow dance. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not. Oh. Wow. That's aggressive. <laughs> well, she's setting herself up for a bad prom. 
He just goes right back into dancing. Because he said, no, nah, baby, I ain't dancing with you. <laughs> In my experience, OK, if you put out the vibe, the women will come. What does that even mean? Well, in your case, okay, you got a habit to put it out, and you ain't got it. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't, you don't have it, so you would never know. I've got it. I put it out, and I know. All right, guys, that's all the time we got. Thank you for watching. Saj, did you learn anything today? Yeah, I learned, hey, the Internet's got all the knowledge in the world and some of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. It's a paradox. I don't even know what that is. Hey, throw my cat videos, OK? That's what we always throw to a show. Something warm and fuzzy keeps you smiling. Play the cat video. See you guys. Right. See y'all guys. <laughs> oh, no.